For more information, see the description below. Namaste. Um, so we have Padartas tu Padai Ki Pi Mid Minal Martam Prakasha Yet Prakasha Yet. So this is Padar Tas Tu Padar Tas Tu Padai Ki Pi Mi Na Na Tam Praka Shayit What is that for that? You tell me, read, you tell the meaning. Of this sentence? You can tell, huh? You can tell. You are capable of telling it now. Padarthas tu. Padarthas tu means? Padarthaha plus? As tu. Day by day you are becoming. After Visarga comes, Visarga will become. Rogas tu. How did you spit it? Roga ha plus as tu. Rogas tu. No, it's going to be Roga ha plus tu. Ah. Okay. Padar. The ha plus. Padar. The ha plus tu. Ah. Padar. Okay, this is Padar. The ha plus tu. Padartha means Padartha, okay. word meaning. Padar tu is an abhiya. Yes. Hmm. Next one, Padartha is tu. Padar ki... Uh, padar ki... Uh, hmm. Yeah, huh? Huh? Padar... It's going to be a P. Ai, ai na. Padar... Padar ki... Padai, very good, Padar. Padai ki... Padai ki api. So ah. this is going to be api. Padai ki plus api. Okay. So what is the name of this sound that just takes out the a? Padar ki api. Niu nina mar tam. This is there is no splitting. Prakasha Shayet. So Prakasha Yet is going to be here the idea of the uh, meaning, right? Expressing. So this Prakasha Yet is going to be expressing, right? Expressing. Patai Kiyapi. What is the next word? Mi Martam. Uh, mi Na Martam. Mi Na. <laughs> Not a Mi. Binna Martam. Uh, B. Binna Martam. Two Nagaras okay. are there. Binna Martam. Binna Martam. Like this? Binna, binna Martam. Okay. Just like that. Anna. Anna. <laughs> Binna uh, Martam. Hmm. So this. What is the meaning of Pada Ikea? Pada is going to be the word. The okay. Ikea. 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 Very famous. Yes. Good point. <laughs> Ikea. Staying together. Unity. Pada Ikea means. Padanam Aike, when the words stay together. Okay. 
अपी are staying together mm. and they have separate meanings they show separate meaning and different meaning they okay. show different meaning okay. a word will have a meaning but when it stay with other words that word may express another meaning. another meaning so when a word has one specific meaning but it's along with other words that has another specific meaning it can not another specific meaning another expression of the meaning will be there okay 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 so this in my mind is the bahuvrihi that we are speaking don't mix it with okay. samasa okay <laughs> this is purely contextual meaning this is contextual meaning okay. a word with a basic meaning can express another meaning according to the context and according to the union of other other, one. other words along with it right padartha padartha is a type of concept the is a type to understand understand the meaning of a word the meaning of a word which is capable of it is capable of expressing expressing another meaning another meaning with reference to the if reference to the reference to the to the context and the context and and the words the used along with it is is it along it clear i hope you understood now if the words used yeah along with it simple example listen me okay tagadirogan sudana shaktana shesha gaya prasudana shesha autsukya moha radi dan jakhana yo purva itya namaste okay there is a word jakhana but okay actually what is the meaning of jagana kill hand to kill but what are killed over the tagadiro disease sir killed over the is it physical killing no then how it is the jagana means curing the word meaning of jagana is curing not killing but okay actually what is the word meaning of jagana killing Destroy. but in that context what is the meaning to heal to cure to cure so that is very important when we are understanding sutras from a textbook okay Clear? I hope you understood. Okay. Yes. Jagana is derived from the root han. Okay. What is the meaning of the root han? Han is to kill. Okay. Yes. Killing means removal of something. Right. Yes. So in this context, we are removing the disease. Okay. 
So removing the disease is not killing or destroying or anything. It is bringing doshas into balance, bringing the mind to the balance or bringing manasiki guna and shariri guna into balance. Okay. So here jagana is not a destroying. Bringing into the normalcy is the meaning of the word jagana. But it is related to hanadadu because hanudadu indirectly says that remove that. So, here you are removing the imbalance which causes the disease. Okay. Thus, Hanu Dadu can be used here, but the meaning should not be destroying or killing, like that which is in the another context where Rama, Ravanam, Jaghana. There it is, physical murder. This is not like that. This is bringing into the balance. So, this is a process of understanding a word in the context. That Tandra Yukti is Padartha Tandra Yukti. Clear? Clear? Yes. Whom will you kill? You will kill your enemy. Right? You will not kill your friend. Right? Yes. So, you will not kill the doshas. Whom you will call? Yes. The cause for the imbalance of the doshas will be destroyed. Up to that level, you can go with the word. Which word? Jagana in Raga Yoga. Okay. I hope you understood. Yes. Traveling through the word like this is called Chichitandra Yoga. Yes. This is the reason when we are learning Ashtangarvaya, we are going for the Nirukti of the word. Right? Then we are understanding the basic meaning of the word and we are understanding the meaning of the Context. Okay. Right? There the word Aryati. Mm -hmm. Yesterday you told the meaning of the Arabi as Apati. Apati, what is the English translation you told? The English meaning Apati. No, another word you told us today. Um, maybe the Same. lacks of interest, lacks of joy. You take your note and sing. For Arati. Mm, you see. It's not there. that uh, in okay. your lap, lap, in your lap. But it's the lack uh, of interest. Fever in us. No, this I put it for huh? uh, Raga. Raga, ah, yes, Raga. sorry. Raga, Raga, Raga. Okay. correct. Fever in us, you put it. Yes. Actually, what is the meaning of Raga? What I told you, Raga? Attachment. Yes. The word meaning is attachment. You told it is how attachment is the disease here. You asked, correct? Yes. Right? <laughs> yes. So, actually what is you know, what is the word meaning of Raga, you know? That which colors. Okay. That which colors, that which attracts. So, how it is Roga? Immediately you should understand that it is dealing with the Disease place yes. and it is termed as roga here. Yes. So you should see if there is something beautiful, our mind will be automatically getting attached to it, and that attached can cause mental imbalance and it can lead to. Yeah, a but sort it's not of, going to be only raga. It's going to be two Yeah, all this. That's why raga thi. But I am telling is so in that case raga is attachment only, but attachment is not a disease. If the attachment causes the imbalance to the mind, then, mm -hmm. then we have a disease. So, Raga is attachment, the word, but in this context, it becomes a disease because of this reason. How did you understand it? It is from the meaning of the word. Okay. Meaning of the word you need, the nearby word you need, the contextual meaning you need. Then only you can understand perfectly what the word expresses. So, that when we are using Padartha, we are also using Adhikarana. No doubt. That's what I told you. See, once Adhikarana told that Adhikarana is attached to every place, every place. Leaving Adhikarana, there is nothing. So, you should know which Asthana you are studying, which Adhyaya you are studying, what are the subject matter in that one. It's a must be for understanding. I remember when I uh, first started, started studying with Sanjay, the first question he did me was, uh, what is the, the standards of Ashtanga Hidayah? <laughs> I looked to him. 
What is the importance of that? <laughs> oh, that is very important. It's very compulsory. It is compulsory. Now I understand that he was asking me the Adhikarana of it. Yeah. 